Christine Cornell Donald Trump brought astic rhetoric to witness stand in civil case against him and his business on Monday. He spent his time on stand attacking New York Attorney General who filed case and judge who oversaw trial. Trump's expression at times mimicked his appearance on campaign trail. The former president has made the four criminal cases against him, along with New York Attorney General's civil case. A central part of his argument for re-election as president in 2024. Judge Arthur Engeron, who ed with Trump throughout the trial, initially tried shut down the former president's political barbs and speeches, telling his attorney Chris Kyes to check your client and threatening remove Trump as a witness. Eventually judge stopped trying to control Trump. He and the attorney general's lawyer who was questioning Trump let him rant and then mostly ignored. Letters. The high-stakes legal case strikes at the heart of Trump's trademark real estate empire. The New York attorney general's office said they would rest the case after Ivanka Trump's testimony. On Wednesday, here are some key takeaways from Trump's day at the podium Trump's campaign is coming to the courtroom the rhetoric the former president used from time to time while testifying may have been used in one of his rallies in front of his supporters. The rhetoric that the former president used from time to time while testifying may have been used in one of the rallies he held in front of his supporters. Trump received an angry response from judge at the beginning of Trump's testimony. Judge Engeron tried to prevent former president from speaking and answer questions instead. But this did little to change Trump's approach. This is not a political rally, Engeron told Trump and told Trump attorney Christopher Kies to check on your client. Judge Engeron attempted to prevent the former president from speaking at the beginning of Trump's testimony and answer questions instead. But that did little to change Trump's approach. Trump's statements about his properties the former president's rhetorical flourishes went beyond attacking those investigating him. He also took the opportunity to play the role of salesman and play his properties. Wallace got the answer to identify this valuation. I think it's between a billion and a billion and five. Trump replied. 